there's been a lot of buzz in the health space recently about optimizing your circadian rhythm. Especially if you look at, let's say, people like Dr. Andrew Huberman, for example. Today, I just want to do a sort of review of what we know so far when it comes to improving circadian rhythm health, based on the available corpus of literature. The first and most basic thing you can do is to get enough sleep. Now, how much sleep you need exactly will differ from person to person, but in general, aim for seven to nine hours. Another simple thing you can do is to get some natural light in the mornings. A good general target to have is about 30 minutes of outdoor natural light exposure every morning. If you live in a place that has those dark winter mornings, you can use what's called a blue light box or sunlight lamp for 15 to 30 minutes within an hour of waking up instead. In the evenings, what you want to do is minimize the intensity of the light you're exposed to and limit your blue light exposure. Our bodies produce a hormone called melatonin, which regulates our circadian rhythm. As the day goes on, levels of melatonin are supposed to rise. But when you're exposed to too much light, especially blue light, it doesn't rise as much as it should. That's why we try to limit this exposure. The simplest way to do this is to just switch to softer side lighting in the evenings and keep your rooms dimly lit. Technology has become a major source of light exposure in the modern age. Simple things like switching to dark mode, turning down the brightness, and turning on the blue light filter on your devices as the evening rolls around can make a difference. A software that I use on my laptop for this purpose is called Flux. This software naturally dims blue light from your screen at sunset, so it minimizes the effect of using the laptop at night on the circadian rhythm. If this isn't enough, try to stop using your devices about an hour before you plan to go to sleep. And yes, that includes TV. Besides this, you can use blackout curtains when you're sleeping to make sure that your room is completely dark. There is some evidence that wearing blue light blocking glasses can prevent melatonin suppression and improve sleep quality. But if you feel like you don't need this, or if it causes you unnecessary anxiety, then I would just skip this one. The next thing you can do is to have a consistent meal schedule. It doesn't matter if you're having three meals or five meals, just keep it consistent. Now, for this last one, there is a paucity of evidence, so we don't have a complete picture. But based on what we do have, it seems that eating your largest meal calorie-wise earlier in the day, meaning before 3 p.m., can help with your metabolic health. One thing I want to emphasize here is, don't get too wrapped up in trying to biohack or hyper-optimize this stuff. You don't have to do everything. Just do what you can without letting it overwhelm you. And you'll eventually find a system that works for you.